say that it's a familiar comet, but are not willing to address those anomalies. They didn't mention any of them, and, and there are no solutions as of yet. In fact, the most uh, exciting data was collected in recent days by amateur astronomers. They did not invest a billion dollars in space telescopes. They used amateur astronomer telescopes that you can buy in thousands of dollars. For weeks, astronomers had been tracking 3i Atlas with the usual clinical detachment reserved for new interstellar visitors. That calm ended the moment its coma began to swell, first slowly, then violently, then in a way that defied every prediction. Telescopes from backyard observatories to national facilities captured the same unsettling pattern, jets fading into the background Around, halo signatures dissolving into a sphere of fog and a body that looked less like a comet and more like a star wrapped in its own atmosphere. The expected filament of a tail was nowhere to be found. Instead, 3i Atlas had transformed into a glowing, unresolved orb. It was as if something inside the object had ignited a runaway process, pushing gas outward with enough force to overwhelm every recognizable cometary feature. The spherical shape itself was the first major red flag. Natural comets rarely achieve this kind of symmetry. Their outgassing is uneven, their dust output chaotic, and the rotation typically smears jets into spirals or fans. Yet 3i Atlas projected an uncanny uniformity. The entire object had expanded into a nearly perfect round shell, as though gas pressure was building deep within and escaping through multiple vents simultaneously. For this to happen, sublimation would need to reach escape velocities much higher than those associated with typical water-dominated outgassing. The only mechanism capable of such power is the sublimation of volatile ices like carbon dioxide, materials that vaporize at much lower temperatures and erupt with greater force. If CO2 were driving the event, the coma could inflate faster than any dust or tail structure could form, effectively burying the nucleus in a bright fog. This geometric inflation carried an eerie resemblance to a historic event, the sudden outburst of Comet 17P Holmes in 2007. In that case, a massive explosion of dust and gas transformed Holmes into a giant green sphere in the night sky, its tail hidden inside a coma larger than the sun. The visual similarity between Holmes then and 3i Atlas now is undeniable. But where Holmes was a fragile snowball native to the solar system, shaped by billions of years of our sun's influence, 3i Atlas is foreign, born around another star, carrying physics and chemistry shaped in an environment perhaps nothing like our own. The idea that an interstellar object would mimic the behavior of Holmes is startling. It suggests that either Holmes-like detonations are more universal than we realized, or that 3i Atlas contains some volatile reservoir primed for catastrophic release. What gives this phenomenon its punch is the volatile mixture driving it. Carbon dioxide, rather than water ice, appears to be the main engine behind 3i Atlas's hyperactivity. CO2 sublimates at much colder temperatures than water, meaning it can erupt earlier and more violently as the object approaches the sun. If CO2 pockets lie deep beneath the surface, they could vent explosively as sunlight penetrates subsurface layers. These venting processes easily entrain dust, forming a dense, optically thick fog around the nucleus. That fog is bright enough to overpower any tail structure emerging behind it. Even a multi-million kilometer dust tail could be completely drowned out by the glow of a highly active inner coma. And in this case, observers, noticing a flickering anti-tail in some frames and none in others, encountered the same frustrating optical paradox. Features appear only when exposure times and angles fight through the gas glare. Most of the time, the coma simply swallows them whole. The disappearing tail is not merely an observational artifact, it is a physical consequence of coma dominance. In many comets, the tail rises from the nucleus, escapes the inner envelope, and disperses into space. But when gas pressure becomes extreme and dust loading reaches unusually high levels, the envelope behaves like a suffocating blanket, trapping the tail within. The forward scattering geometry near the sun only amplifies the effect. Bright dust grains scatter sunlight in ways that saturate detectors, turning the region near the nucleus into an overexposed glare dome. For 3i Atlas, this creates a scenario where the classical comet silhouette never materializes. Instead of a nucleus, tail, and halo, we witness a single radiating globe, one that feels less like a comet and more like an explosion frozen in mid-expansion.
Up to this point, the physics, though dramatic, still lives within the realm of natural comet behavior. But 3I Atlas carries far more troubling anomalies, ones that compel scientists to question whether this visitor is simply an exotic comet or something entirely different. Astrophysicist Avi Vobe has cataloged a list of these anomalies, organized by likelihood, and some entries defy easy explanation. One of the most striking involves the object's trajectory. Its path through the solar system grazes multiple planets, Mars, Venus, and even the outskirts of Jupiter, while its closest approach to the Sun occurs when the object is poorly visible from Earth. Though coincidences are always possible, this pattern has raised eyebrows. It resembles highly tuned orbital targeting more than a random arrival from the interstellar void. Another anomaly lies in its sunward jet and the peculiar anti-tail that appeared at multiple points during 2025. Comets typically display tails pointing away from the sun, shaped by the solar wind. Anti-tails appear only under particular geometric alignments when the observer's viewpoint slices through the dust plane, yet 3i Atlas showed persistent sunward-directed structures that could not be fully accounted for by standard dust sheet geometry or viewing angle. This odd behavior hints at something more structured, perhaps controlled jets, unusual rotational states, or dust emissions responding to an internal mechanism rather than passive sublimation alone. Even more puzzling is the chemistry. The gas plume around 3I Atlas is unusually rich in nickel, with an Ni to Fe ratio that diverges sharply from solar system comets. Typically, nickel and iron appear in roughly similar proportions in cometary dust, but in this case, nickel dominates. Such a composition does not match any known comet formation environment in our local planetary neighborhood. Even more surprising is the extremely low water content. Only around 4% of the measured gas mass consists of water vapor, whereas most comets are water-rich at their cores. This composition implies either an origin zone radically different from our own, or a body whose surface and subsurface materials differ from any known natural object. And then there is the non-gravitational acceleration. Near perihelion, 3I Atlas exhibited acceleration that cannot be fully accounted for by sublimation pressure. The object would need to be disintegrating rapidly to produce the forces observed, yet it remained intact enough to maintain a coherent coma structure. This paradox leads to speculation. Perhaps some internal mechanism exerts force, or perhaps the outgassing model used for ordinary comets does not apply to this interstellar body. Either explanation points toward an object that operates outside the rules astronomers are used to. Taken individually, each anomaly might be explainable by rare but natural processes. Taken together, they form a portrait of an object that does not cleanly fit into any single category. The Holmes-like coma expansion suggests a high volatile content and a volatile-driven explosion. The trajectory hints at precision rather than randomness. The chemical composition suggests a formation environment or structure unlike any comet we know. The jets behave with a rigidity that stretches the limits of sublimation physics, and the non-gravitational acceleration challenges our understanding of cometary propulsion altogether. Viewed as a whole, 3I Atlas presents itself as the comet that should not exist, a hybrid of familiar and unfamiliar phenomena. It mirrors the behavior of a solar system comet that once shocked astronomers, yet it carries signatures that push it toward the extraordinary. It behaves like a natural object undergoing a catastrophic outgassing event, yet its chemistry and dynamics hint at something far stranger. It carries the visual cues of a comet, the physics of an explosion, and the anomalies of a possible artifact. If 3I Atlas is natural, then it is one of the most exotic natural objects ever observed by humanity, a relic of a planetary system fundamentally different from our own. If it is not natural, then we are witnessing something unprecedented, an interstellar visitor whose behavior, structure, and composition raise questions far beyond cometary science. In either case, this object is forcing astronomers to rewrite assumptions about what interstellar debris can look like and how it can behave. It reminds us that the universe has more imagination than we do, and that the things drifting between stars may not conform to the categories we expect or understand. The truth is simple. 3I Atlas is not just another comet passing through the solar system.
It is a riddle built from gas, dust, and physics that do not align. And whether it is a natural wanderer from another star, or something more enigmatic, it marks the beginning of a new chapter in our understanding of interstellar visitors, one written in a glowing, expanding sphere that refuses to behave like anything we have seen before.